those of you that have been with me for a long time, I used to do these quite a bit. And um, honestly, it's probably how a lot of you guys found me today. Um, so we're going to be remaking LeBron James. I feel like he's always the go-to guy to remake every year. You know, LeBron James, widely considered the greatest of all time. Um, you know, obviously that's a controversial topic. We're not going to get into that. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to be recreating LeBron James in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. So that being said, guys, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I do ASMR gaming every single night. If you're a returning subscriber, hit that like button before you sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we have LeBron James, small forward, right-handed, number 23. I kind of debated whether or not I wanted to go with a small forward or a power forward. I'm not 100% sure which one gets more badges. I want to say that a small forward would get more playmaking badges than a power forward, which in today's age, today's day and age, LeBron is probably more of a playmaker than anything. He's kind of like a floor general. He likes to, you know, make his teammates better around him because he is not quite what he used to be. According to Google, LeBron is six foot nine. However, for the purposes of this video, I want to go ahead and go one inch shorter than that. I'm going to go with six foot eight. And it also says he's 250 pounds, which Honestly, I don't hate look at the defense on this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at the defense. But at the same time, look at the driving dunk as well. Uh, wait. Okay, there we go. Okay. Wow. Holy smokes. Alright, we're already off to an incredible start with this. This build gets a 92 driving dunk, which... For those of you that didn't know, 92 driving dunk is what you need for contact dunks. Um, yeah, or, or, sorry, elite contact dunks. This build's going to have an 80 ball handle, an 83, a 3 ball, an 85 mid range. This build can quite literally do everything. This is actually insane. He's a little bit slow, but that's okay. That's okay. We will uh, we will deal with that. He can basically do everything under the sun. Let's see if we can maybe make him just a little bit skinnier and a little bit faster. Maybe a 75 speed. There we go. 75 speed, so a little bit. See, here's the thing is if you were to make him you know, correct, correctly, you would want to make him 250, you know, six foot nine, 250, but, uh, and I don't, I don't know what his wingspan is, but, um, seven foot four seems to be a really solid, this looks like it's very, very solid, 75 speed, 89 vertical, what else, what else, what else, wait, I wonder if there's, okay, what if we went 90 vertical, instead of what do we lose from that yeah let's go with let's go with 222 that's a 90 vertical so again he's a little bit skinnier than LeBron but the, look, look at all the stats look at all the potentials okay let's get into this let's get into this because this is this is kind of nuts all right 93 driving dunk we'll go with like a an 80, like a high 80s. Uh, let's go. With, let's try it with like 85 on both of those first, and then we'll give them a standing dunk of like a 80 as well. Three ball, mid range, max. This could be a bark build. Let's try and make it a bark build first. Pass accuracy, and then perimeter defense, steal, defensive rebound. Yeah, see, we're gonna be. Too, too short on attributes. Hold on one second. So we're already kind of hurting for attributes. Um, this is tough. This is going to be tough. 
let's take a close shot and driving layup down to like an 80. Just freeze up a little bit of extra stuff. We got a 75 pass accuracy. That's not that great. We got to give him a block though too. I think for the purpose of this video, see I don't remember what the threshold is for a standing dunk as far as Ah, this is hard. This is so hard. Let's maybe take his perimeter down and his steel down to an 80 a piece and bump up that block. Maybe take that defensive rebounding down and bump up his offensive rebounding. <sighs> his interior defense is very low. Very, very low. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. What, what do you lose when you get rid of standing dunk. It looks like all you lose is that rise up badge. I feel like I'm going to lose out on some sort of uh, dunk package if I do this, but we just have to, we have to have some sort of interior defense. I feel like I need more strength too, though. Maybe we take the offensive rebounding down, put it on strength. So, I mean, 20, 25, 20, and 23. I mean, as far as badge breakdowns goes, this is pretty solid. This is pretty solid. But as far as attributes go, he looks like he's kind of struggling. He looks like he's kind of struggling. All right, so there's 81 interior, 80 perimeter, 80 steel, 68 block. I feel like we need to get a better block. Can't take anything off of, I don't want to take anything off a of three ball. Uh, let's go with a slightly, slightly less driving layup and bump up that block. All right, so 20, 25, 20, and 25. This is, this is giving me some, some throwback to, uh, to maybe some uh, some two-way, what was it, the two-way playmaking slasher or something like that from uh, 2K20, the 2K20, 2K19 days. 20, 25, 20, and 25. That is insane. I wonder, I wonder what you could do with a slightly lower strength. So what if we didn't max out strength? It was just go with a 56. Give him a 75 speed and then 77. You can go 77 block. Get an extra sh extra blocking badge or an extra defensive badge. Or, you know. And you get silver rim protection instead of bronze so that's a more defensive more defensive for sure only 31 free throw I think I think we go like this and give him a free throw somewhat decent free throw you know you don't want him to just be missing everything at the line see I, I'm torn I'm torn between I don't know if this is like too balanced. I feel like this could be too balanced. But we got the 93 driving dunk. Um, I bet we need a standing dunk of something to get the elite contact dunks. But I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. We could honestly take that down to like a 70. Maybe put a little bit more, like one more on steel instead of. Well, 71. Yeah, I mean. This probably isn't perfect. If I had longer to look at this, I might be able to come up with something better, but maybe maybe give it him a little bit longer arms. So, I mean, he's got an 80 ball handling. Honestly, this build's kind of fire. This build is kind of fire. He's gonna be able to handle the ball. He's gonna be able to shoot threes, and he's gonna be able to drive and dunk. And he's got great defense. I don't hate this. I don't hate this one bit. Let's go ahead. Let's keep. Let's keep. Let's keep this primary takeover. 
let's see what our comparisons are. Two-way finisher. Scotty Pippen, McCall Bridges, and Jalen Brown. So we didn't quite get the uh, we didn't quite get the the playmaking, the LeBron uh, comparison that we were looking for. But let's go ahead and dust him out. Let's go ahead and dust him out. I want to see what this guy can do. Let's go with uh, and I'm not gonna keep these badges. Uh, accurate to LeBron. I'm just going to put probably what I think is the best badges. We'll go gold posterizer. Uh, let's go like uh... Alright, so what is limitless when attacking the basket? A player with this badge will start their dunk or layup gather from farther out than others. I feel like this is going to be a crazy badge, so I'm going to put it on Hall of Fame. I'm going to go like silver mouse in the house. Silver pro touch. We'll go bronze lob city. Acrobat Silver. Wait, is that it? That's all I have left. Oh, that's all I have. Wow. That limitless takeoff really, really did us in. Instead of instead of Silver Acrobat, let's go with uh, let's go with Silver Slithery Finisher and Bronze Acrobat. So we get a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, shooting. We'll go with. Uh, Silver Dead Eye, Silver Catch and Shoot, Sniper, Limitless Spot Up, Silver. We got 16 left. We'll go to Corner Specialist, Silver, Volume Shooter. I feel like I feel like LeBron is definitely a volume shooter. Let's go with like Gold Volume Shooter. After a player has taken a small handful of shots. Additional boost to his shot attributes is given for any subsequent shot, whether it makes or misses. So, you have to take a bunch of consecutive shots. Maybe not. Maybe not. Sniper. Let's go with Sniper. Gold Sniper and, like, Gold Hot Zone Hunter. And... Could go with Hall of Fame Sniper. Silver Green Machine. Specialist or silver set shooter. There we go. There we go. Or no, oh, stop and pop. Stop and pop looks like it could be fire. Let's go. Uh, let's just go with uh, green machine on bronze and then silver pop and stop. Or stop and pop, sorry. Uh, silver quick first step. What is hyperdrive? Increase the speed at which players can perform. Dribbling moves as they attack down the court. Okay, so this build only gets bronze floor general. I feel like that is a that is a uh, a deal breaker. This is definitely not LeBron. I feel like I should go back and give him a little bit more playmaking badges, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna go gold downhill, silver handles for days. We get five left. Silver unblockable and. Bronze Needle Threader and Bronze Bullet Passer, even though he's definitely throwing absolute bullets. He's throwing bullets out here. Okay. And then last but not least, Defensive. We'll go Silver, silver Box, Silver Clamp, Silver Interceptor, uh, Bronze Rim Protector, Silver Rebound Chaser, Silver chase down artist. What is menace? While guarding and staying in front of an opponent, their attributes will drop if good defense is being played. Yes, absolutely. Pickpocket, sure. Um, intimidator, yes. Defensive leader, yes. Ankle braces. Or tireless defender. Pogo stick. Let's go with pogo stick. Okay. Wait, did I just... Yikes, I just canceled all of these. Oh, no. All right, well, let's do that again. Acrobat Silver. Oh, my God. Lobsity... <laughs> or uh, Acrobat Bronze. Lobsity Bronze. Post Riser Gold. Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame. Slither Finisher with Silver. I had, like, Mouse in the House. I got Mouse in the House. Bronze, maybe. Pro Touch Silver. What is Fearless Finisher? Player's ability to absorb contact and still finish also reduce the amount of energy loss from contact layups. Maybe we go uh, 
Race under pressure. Nah. Let's go mouse and house silver. That's that's what it was, I think. Shooting, we had uh, hot zone, silver, sniper, gold, green machine, bronze, dead eyed, silver, catch and shoot, silver, stop and pop, limitless spot up, corner specialist, maybe blinders would be a better badge. Rhythm shooter, what is this? Increases the chance of sh made shot after sizing your opponent up with triple moves. Ooh, that sounds fire, actually. That actually sounds sick. What if we did? Yeah, I think it was Sniper Hall of Fame. Yeah, let's just go Sniper Hall of Fame. Uh, bullet Passer, front, Bronze, Floor General, Bronze, Silver, Quick First Step, Needle Threader, Silver, Bronze, uh, Gold Downhill, Silver Handles for Days, and Silver Unpluggable. Next. Brick Wall, Intimidator, Definitely Silver Intimidator. Uh, silver Menace, Silver Chase Down, Silver Jam, Clamps, not Jams. Silver, Boko Stick Bronze, Rim Protector Bronze, Box Silver, Silver Rated Rebound Chaser. Could go Defensive Leader, Ankle Braces, we'll go, we'll go Bronze, and Big Pocket, maybe Silver. Actually, I feel like I need something to be like at least gold. But I, he doesn't really have anything that he can get to gold other than Hustler, which, let's be honest, that's not today's LeBron. Um, off ball pest. Maybe we just go like all silver badges. Let's go pickpocket silver. Yeah. Perfect. Oh wait, let's go back and let's change. Alright, so let's figure out a team to play on. We could go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Wait, they have Rubio and Jared Allen, Colin Sexton, and Mobley. Um, could go to the Celtics. LeBron on the Celtics, imagine. Clippers, Grizzlies, the Hawks. Oh man, let's go to the Hawks. Wait, let's make it let's make it happen. Let's make it happen and we'll play against let's play against the Warriors. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, so here I present to you a little bit of LeBron James gameplay. This is an extremely balanced small forward. I've never seen a more balanced build. Um at least I've never created a, a more oh my goodness, he's so fast. Compared to my center, compared to the guy that I've been using, I feel like I'm on. I'm. I feel like I'm flying. Okay. And again, I can't really give him like the dunk packages. Here we go. Give me that board. Get up, Cabela. Oh, look out! Oh my God! What the? Yo, that dunk. What the heck? Why'd he kick his legs up like that? Out here looking like an old school dunk. Alright. I should have gotten the... I shouldn't have used clamps as my takeover. I should have done like a full finishing takeover. Draymond, Curry, Clay. It's going to be awesome to see Clay Thompson back in the NBA. Defense. Oh, see you later, Draymond. Just kidding. He stuck it out. Or no, that's Wiggins. What the? I thought that was Draymond, the way that man was playing defense. Oh, I tried to get the rotation over to the corner. Playing some good old MB builder gameplay. Uh-oh. Chase down. I think that considers. I think that's considered a chase down. What the? I didn't call for that or anything. Cash. Oh, that was. That was clean. That was clean. Was that earlier or late? By the way, I put. Uh, I put Carmelo's. Carmelo 
those uh, dunk or not dunk package. Wow, he got that rebound. Trey Young, come on now. I put Carmelo's jump shot on him, so I have yet to use Carmelo in any way. Well, that's gonna be late. Oh, good lord! Wide open. Wait, you can actually get so open when you're being guarded by a computer when you have actually like good ball handling. I try and do that as as my center, but it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work because I, I I'm just too slow with the ball. Oh, that's good defense. I'm out. Here we go. See that uh, that didn't that didn't work nearly as well because it's Wiseman. He's he's way taller. He's gonna be way taller. He's gonna be able to close out easier. Give me that. Oh, I didn't get the block, but I was intimidating enough. Who wouldn't be intimidated by LeBron James? Oh, step back. Bop. Just kidding. Slightly late. This is a fast release. Carmelo has got a very fast release. Man, this is awesome. Oh. Tough, 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 tough. Finally green one. Should I activate my takeover or should I wait for double take? I'm gonna wait for double take. I'm gonna wait for double take. I left him wide open. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, he closed out so fast. You know what? I want to. I kind of want to use my clamps. Just kidding. Nah, this dude is kind of fire. You could make an argument and say that he doesn't do anything like spectacularly. Oh, that's. Sheesh. Sheesh. The spin to the step back is. Jeez, against the computer. Oh, they, of course they called timeout and got rid of my double takeover. Oh, you know what? I'm so dumb. I should have activated it. I have a defensive takeover. Usually I wait until I'm on offense to activate my takeover because I have an offensive takeover and they took me out. No. Momentum simulator. Wait, there's a momentum simulator now. Dang, they added momentum into the game. rather me keep these builds like more towards the player's play style or more towards the player's body. I think last time when I was doing this back in 2K20, I always tried to keep it as close to the player's bodies, like like their actual, you know, height and weight that I could. You know, maybe it'd be off by, you know, one inch and ten pounds or something like that, but you guys let me know what you would rather me keep their play style or rather me keep their uh dang i break that keep their play style or keep their body type the same you guys let me know you guys let me know dang clay didn't 
not help off at all. Uh, oh my goodness. Wait. It's definitely on like rookie difficulty. It's got to be on rookie difficulty. That was late and 32% contested. And I have like that sniper perk on or that sniper badge. I've seen enough of this guy already to know that he's pretty pretty solid. Um, he just doesn't really fit my playstyle. It's been it's been so long since since I've played 2K outside of this weekend that I kind of forgot. Like back in 2K20, I started to get somewhat decent at dribbling. I say like somewhat, like very basics. And now I feel like I I don't I don't have any of that anymore. So I'm, ba I'm basically starting over from square one when it comes to playmaking. At least I know that like little step back and... Oh, there we go. There we go. Pick and pop, baby. Pick and pop. Pick and pop. Oh my god. I literally took my hand off of my controller for two seconds because I didn't think they, the computer would make that bad. forced me out of bounds. That's a good play by Wiggins. I should have just driven baseline. I had the, I had the entire baseline wide open. Beat the pass to the corner. Curry's back in. Oh, Wiseman. Curry to Wiseman. Dang, we're losing. I just realized that. He's just a sniper. He's just a sniper. Maybe I make him next. All right, hold on. Give me that ball back. Capella. Oh, that's a good switch. That's a good switch. You ain't going to be able to stop Capella like that. actually get my mans in the corner. Good lord, Curry. Stop it. Stop it. Mans, man's cooking up. Oh, I wanted that to go to the corner to Bogdan, or is that Gallinari? That looks like Gallinari. Yep. Oh, now I'm the sniper. Now who's the sniper? the sniper. 
I should make next. If you're watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great night's sleep. And good night.